What is going on, guys? Welcome back to our Bastion playthrough. Last time, we got, what, two cores or something like that? Um, and the biggest thing that happened was Zolf... We found a journal, and Zolf read it. And something in the journal pissed him off, so he smashed up the monument, and now we gotta go get the shards. Um, and so... The, the cool thing about these levels is that we kind of start going into wilderness more and more rather than like the cities and stuff, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, let's head to J Jossen Bog. Right now we're equipped with, um, I think we're using musket After and After Zolf's boat. little episode, Kid sets off in search of shards. First stop, Jossen Bog. You'll get lost in that bog, I told the kid. And I won't be able to guide you back. Damn. Well, I let him go. What else could I do? What could any of us do? I mean, you're a grown man, and you're. And the only thing I like. It's kind of ambiguous how old Rux is, right? Because, like, he has white hair. Zolf put us in a real bind. Hurt the Bastion bad. He, uh. He has white hair, but so does the kid, so maybe he's not actually that old, and, like, they're relying on us, the kid, to go out and do this shit, but it's like... Like, why couldn't Zolf go do this shit? Why are they sending... But the shards can make it better. They're like smaller doses of the core's medicine. Ooh! I accidentally just used our ability there. The other thing that's kind of ambiguous is the kid's age, right? Because, like, in our flashback, we spent... What? Ten years on the wall? Or something like that. Like they like. Oh, there's the shard already. Okay. Shame the only place oh. to fill that prescription is out here in the wild. Okay. So there this was some place fucking intoxicating dank smoke surrounding the shard, and we just uh fucking passed out after. We have no fucking tolerance. We passed out off of after like one breath. Don't know where he's gone. So this is kind of like a uh, similar thing from the pipe, where this is kind of like a inside of our head sort of deal. Wherever he is, somewhere near the end. So these things, you can only damage somewhere them when their eyes open up. Your eyes only open up when you look away from them. Ow! There's no way out. And they explode and one shot you. Good to know. Holy shit, they do so much damage. Okay, well, good thing we have... We have this musket. Okay, you did not... If you look back at them for too long, they'll freeze up and become invincible again. We need to dodge those grenades that they drop. Oh, hello. The dead welcome him with open arms. Oh yeah, we just like straight trip in this. We have like a fucking bad trip. Ah! Holy shit. Okay. Get away from me. Get away from me. I also don't think we need the bow in this. I'd rather have the um the repeater here. Yeah, survivor. No ma'am. It's a lonesome ghost of a gas fella. So I, I really like this level because there's a lot of throwbacks to like stuff Rux has already said and stuff. Um, it, it, it literally is like we're having like a bad trip. It's really cool. Um, all right, we're just gonna kind of crowd control with this musket and get them off our backs. What do you say to a kid who's seen too much? Oh, hello, hello, Zolf. Surrender. I'm Zolf of the Ura. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Okay, so now we're back now at the kids see something stranger still. Else ah, this level's so fucking sure cool. Enough, he finds peckers, lunkheads, wallflowers, pin cushions, vine apples, swamp weeds, ankle gators. They're all friendly, though. Oh, never mind. They are no longer friendly. Power shots in. Nice. Uh, 
Not bad, Birdie. A row? I don't want to ingest that smoke. Now the Bastion can send them even farther into the wild unknown. Shit is so weird. I love it. Love it. foot inside one of Ceylandia's famous watering holes. Oh my god, that is massive. We actually melted it pretty well with our um, volley ability. Okay, this sucks. This, y'all need to chill the fuck out. Oh, we need to heal? Okay. We need to hit these power shots too. Ah! Alright, we need this yellow one. The yellow one shoots homing shots. Hey. Okay. Probably could have just um, countered there. Or try to counter a lot there, but I'm more comfortable doing this. Kid succeeds where the calamity failed. Would you look at what he did to poor old Rondi, the bartender? Proper story is supposed to start at the beginning. It's so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world's all right, snoozing there on a rock in the sky. <laughs> That's a, a throwback. He wakes up. I'm just fooling. A throwback to what he says at the beginning, because it's like the opposite of what he says in the beginning. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. He sees what's left of Pith the bull. Hello, Pith. Oh my gosh, there's a giant Pith. Hello. The gods. They're all undone. He sees what's left of his life. Oh my gosh. Friend. Our Nega fucking Dark Bastion? Or Dark Bastion kid? Oh my god, he's so tanky. Oh my god, he's beating my ass. Sorry, friend. He sees what's left. Undone. Took the ore. Uh, 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 the uh, ore. Uh, 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 I'll pack the ore. Come uh, over here. Take the wood. Place the wood. Sleep. I love that level. It's such a cool level. Thought we'd lost him, but it finally comes to. Hell yeah. The shard ain't lost either. Not anymore. Now to find a ticket out of this hole. Disgusting things. So, we got the core. Ever heard of a lung blossom? Oh, boss fight. Okay. It's bigger than the stories say. Oh God. Oh. Boot oh God, it's like nasty thorns into his. Not C season bastion. I stopped playing. Oh no! I wanted to get away from the CCs. Please, no. Okay, this is bad. Oh, this is really bad. Kid ain't about to be playing food okay. just yet. So maybe we can counter it with the shield. I don't really know what to do because this is like way too much, right? Okay. Well, first I need to um get these things. Oh, uh, we are getting our asses kicked. We'll be okay. The ball might have swallowed him whole. 
Okay. Hmm. We need to just try to destroy these plants first. Thought we'd lost I think them, if we comes to. um the shield the uh um, the shard ain't lost either. Not anymore. Now to find a ticket out of this hole. Bootlickers dig their nasty thorns into his heels. Disgusting things. So I don't know if the big plants he sees me like that, or if it's just these like small um ones. So maybe we just destroy the small Ever ones first. The lung blossom. Biggest thing is the biggest problem it's is bigger than the stories say. Oh, I can just camp up here. It's kind of OP. Hello? This is so OP. Okay, it still hurts though. The breath on that thing, like a scumbag sprung a leak. Ew. I don't want to hear about scumbag leak. I don't know if I'm allowed or supposed to be doing this. They say one whiff of lung blossom can make you lose your mind. Dude, this dude is taking some well, hits. Get Holy down shit. The side somehow. Alright. Hell yeah. We cheesed our way out of that boss fight. Listen. He brought CCs into the mix. I I'm not fucking with it, alright? You bring CCs in the mix, I'm gonna fucking go hacker mode against you, okay? Alright, anything over here? Was there any, like, pickup collectible in this level? I don't think there was. That kind of makes me worried. Mother I kind of feel like I missed one. What happened in the bog. Kid never much cared to speak oh, well. of it. Yeah, that's a really cool level. I really like that level. A shard is like a poor man's core, but beggars can't be choosers. All right, so now that's it. A few more shards like that, and we'll be we back in business. We get to upgrade one of our places. A single shard can breathe new life into this place. So if we upgrade, this is just off of my memory, right? I think if we upgrade the distillery, we just get a couple more options, like a couple new drinks. If we upgrade the um, arsenal. I think we get, oh yeah, so each weapon can be upgraded three times right now. We get two new upgrade slots for each weapon, which is pretty good. Um, the forge, oh no, sorry, that, that's the forge. The forge, you get two new upgrade slots. I think the arsenal just gives you new abilities, I think, um, to choose from. Foundation gives you a lot of new quests, or I mean the, um, Whatever the hell this is. What is it called? Memorial. The Memorial gives you new quests and stuff. Uh, Lost and Found gives you new items. And the Shrine gets you new um, challenges and stuff. So let's just go with the Forge because the new upgrade slots are really good. Um, the Shard's got enough juice to spruce up any of these places. So, yeah. So now we have two more upgrade slots for each thing. Um, I think I might swap off the bow. Go back to the repeater for now. Let's do, um... Just go back to trip mine for now. So we did actually level up, so let's go get a new drink from Lost and Found. Oh, we do have something that's by that. Um... Good stab synth. Automatic retaliation when damage. It's pretty good. Stab synth is like drinking a cool breeze. Just don't go spitting needles everywhere. And that is that for now. Uh, we could upgrade our pistol another time. Do plus He's damage. Right comfortable good. bed for all those bullets. We're not gonna use the pistol for now until we get that third upgrade. The third upgrade will be. The city tried to use the shards to stake out the wild. Oh, so much for that plan. 
Let's go for Rothus Lagoon. Let's try this out. Ah, oh, fucking ankle gators. Ankle gators used to roam the wilds. These motherfuckers. And they nested at Rothus Lagoon. Many a tale folks used to scare their children straight originated here. Oh, damn it. We're gonna need the bow again because these are like unkillable without something hard hitting. Actually, that did decent damage. Okay. All kinds of beasts were going to up from down. Still looking. God, they move so fast. And... City's brushes knew their way around the lagoon. I don't even get stunned when I block them. Even the brushers learned to fear this place. God, this is gonna take so long to kill. Eh, maybe not. Come on. Alright. Is this the right way to go? Because if so, I don't want to go here. I do need the bow. A lot of these things are really hard to kill. I think we get the flame they used to think on this that level. Gators were extinct. Nope. Oh my god. <laughs> well, they ain't. One of them's been living in the tall grass. They called her Queen Anne. Queen Anne. Die, you bastard. The lagoon's got plenty of other dangers, of course. Of course. Turns out Queen Anne got a hold of a shard. Ankle gators love shiny things. A little giant onion thing that spews No, it smells worse than an ankle gator's breath. A stink weed. Stink. Can't ah, get hasty what? in a place like this. Ain't time for pecker hunting, but the kid can't resist. Always time for pecker hunting. Fuck peckers. Can't fight Queen Anne without the proper tools. Oh my god. Rushers use their oh, to keep their distance I get around the here. Now the spear kid on the same. level. I was never a big fan of the spear, honestly. Although the spear can da apparently damage. So if I walk in the grass, she'll hurt me, I guess? Fuck! Sharp so, make like the, nervous, uh... So she backs off a bit. Like the machete, you can throw the spear, which is pretty cool. The spear does actually do decent damage against these things. You know what, maybe I'll use the spear this playthrough. I never really used the spear before. But maybe I'll use it this playthrough. It's actually really not terrible, none of them using it. Alright. Those pin cushions been living off the ankle gator's scraps. Queen Anne can't fit down some of these narrow paths. Bro, everything is so fucking tanky now. It's kind of absurd. Come on, you bastard. Oh my god. I keep slipping and falling. Queenie leaves the kid into some kind of twisted trap. One bad step in that tall grass and it's Queen Anne's lunch. Okay, so I just, like Pokemon, I just need to stay out of the tall grass. He holds his ground. Until I get my, Seems uh, running until I get my mud chip. Alright. 
I don't like a lot of these enemies just because you kind of just have to wait and it's kind of boring. Um, Still no sign of the shard. So let's, yeah, so let's use the pike. What should we use? Should we use the repeater too? We need something long range, so it's either re the repeater or the bow. Um, or we can try the pistols too. Let's just use the repeater for now. Um, yeah, let's try to get. I'm not a huge fan of the decoy. Let's just um, do like a mine or something. Um, let's not use the repeaters until we get the upgrades and stuff for them. Hello, I'm just blocked off my way. Oh, that was a fucking 60 damage crit. The closer you get to an ankle gator's lair, the thicker the tall grass grows. Kids gotta make a run for it. That old gator's right on his tail. Oh my god, it just fucking threw me off the map. Alright, first you need to die. Next you need to die. Alright, 195 XP. I mean, the, the totems make the game way harder, but goddamn does it give you more, like, insanely more XP. Alright, so we just need to fucking leg it. Run! Alright, we're good. Queen here. must have scared a bunch of peckers out of hiding. Oh, you know Same what? I don't really have a great weapon for peckers, though. Away from the queen. Hey, if I just do that, just stay away from me. God damn, that hurts. Okay. I want to kill this thing and get my 104 XP with something pointy. That's actually pretty pog. Something pointy is what we're going to use to upgrade our um, spear. I think next we're going to upgrade our lost and found um, so that we can buy... Ugh, that hurt. Holy shit, Queen Anne has zero fucking chill. Ankle gator Ankle egg. Gators don't much care for their young. That's why there ain't many around. All right, so Wanna here's the boss fight. An ankle gator lair. They use a kid as bait. All right, so we just gotta go near it. I the think. shard sitting in plain view. Now she's coming for. Oh, that's not ground she's up there. Got okay. Else to go. So take a shard, and then we just and kind of bait it out. Off. Go near it, bait it up, and then just attack it. They say if you run Simple enough. Gator, you better keep running. She's starting to get annoyed. Simple enough. It's gonna start getting faster too. And now he's made her mad. Holy shit, I just took so much damage. That's ankle gator country for uh. you. Alright, we need to take care of all these annoying ass enemies too. They're gonna fuck us up. Shit, 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 shit. Woo! Running. Alright, you need to die. God damn it. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. <laughs> that was a lot of fucking damage, fuck! Oh shit, this is not good. Okay. Oh fuck. Okay, okay, okay. You need to die. Hell yeah, dude. Okay. That was for the brushes. Okay, so when you throw it, it doesn't immediately come back to you. There's like a cooldown period. Um. Okay. That was actually pretty hard. Um. Now we just leap through there. Anything else for me to do? No. Okay. We got our second Kids shard. Done what needed to be done. So yeah, let's go upgrade the lost and found and. Since we have a little bit of extra time Queen on this Anne's video, reign is over. we even got a crown jewel. Um, I 
Yeah, so that gator's a crazy gal. Hey, we got a little baby, a little friendly baby ankle gator. They said Queen Anne was just a folk tale. Now there's living proof she ain't. All that trouble for a single shard. But you know what? It was worth it. Alright, so let's go do Lost and Found so we have more, so we can buy more upgrade materials and stuff like that. Oops. We need an awful big Lost and Found under the circumstances. Um, something pointy, something nasty. Um, something greasy. That's good. Piker Vault. We are leaps into the sky to crash down on unsuspecting foes. Interesting. Oh, we also got a ton of new stuff. Gain some health by striking foes. Side effect, minus 66% health tonic potency. Gain some health by counter blocking the bullhead shield. That's actually pretty good. And it doesn't have a side effect. To turn zealous after defeating a foe. While zealous gain 200% damage for 3 seconds. That's pretty good. Plus, still a flat damage resistance. That's pretty good. Okay. Um. Let's go to uh, Graver Gimlet. This sounds pretty good. Okay. I don't think. Yeah, we're not. We haven't leveled up yet. Let's uh. What should we do? Should we upgrade our? Let's let's upgrade our pike. Some fun ways to keep you entertained. Alexa, First, off. What are you... God damn it. Um, I don't really use the throw too much, so 50% crit chance to I think is way better. Pike, you just need a good length of knife bark. The rest attacks ca cause knockback. That's actually pretty good. And we also have plus 50% crit damage. Don't want that back. thing leaving your hands until you decide it's time. Um. With Pike and Repeater in hand, he's like a man comes straight from the wilds. So let's go see the if. The shard should be farther out there in the wilds. So let's go do a couple of these real quick. Uh, we have a little bit of time left in the video. Let's do. Um. I think this one's actually pretty hard. I don't know if we're, we're going to be able to do well on this, but let's see. You have to think fast to survive the wild. This is the you pistol do, uh, proving ground. The they could shoot their pistols with the speed of a machine. They knew just when to start okay. shooting and when to stop. So they're going to pop up. Those pistols could spit out rounds just as quick as you could pull the trigger. They just pop up and we just have to shoot them as fast as possible. Oh, I was a little slow there. Learning to hold your fire could be its own challenge. Spread on our gun is not helping. I don't know how many uh, how many points we need to get at all three tiers on this one, but hopefully not too many. No matter how fast you are, you can always get faster. Okay, we got two. That's fine. Let's do one more before the episode ends. Um, let's do. Well, even the slingers weren't quick enough to escape the calamity. I think we could probably do the pike one. Let's go do the pike one and then we'll end the episode. So I wouldn't mind getting this extra upgrade material for it. To prepare for the wilds. Ceylonia's brushes Oh, and we get upgrade Dante. material for the, uh... Had to navigate a maze of pin cushions with nothing Oh, this one sucks. Okay. It's a 
dangerous test for a dangerous job. Okay. This one fucking sucks. So we just gotta we literally just gotta navigate this maze, basically. Health times um, are off limits in Camp Dante. They said they made you weak. We, we literally just gotta as fast as possible. Um navigate through here and kill um you know obviously you want to kill as little as possible to save time um and take as little damage as possible um and the rules said he couldn't use any fancy footwork just your brain oh yeah you can't I... roll either i didn't even think about that um so yeah i think this is the last switch i'm not really sure this one down here is gonna be a problem. I need to clear this one. That. Clear that one. Is there another one? Where's the. Oh, is it down here, maybe? Ooh. Losing. Ow! Sometimes the course was brutal. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, definitely didn't make great time. As long as I get the two tiers, I'll be happy. If you did alright at Camp Dante, you got to go to the wilds. Let's see how let's see how many tiers I got. Hopefully two. Please be two, please be two, please be two. Got Nice! That's all I wanted. Alright. And we are going to end the episode there. Alright y'all, thank you so much for watching. If you liked that video, be sure to hit the like button. See why the brush is if you're liking the today. series, be sure to hit the bell icon so you get notified when the next episode comes out. And I will see y'all in that next episode. Peace!